you know, it's everywhere weeds growing. When all the way to uh, Normandy, when I hitchhiked, I saw everywhere I saw fields of wheat like this here. It's all little baguettes growing. And uh, as before, it was only like this here, corn. So, you know, it's because of the war in the Ukraine, you know. It's probably the end of globalism as well. You know, Pharaoh decided, you know. And we just assume. I had a visit here from Switzerland, from a guy who saw my videos and uh, oh, look how dirty my tent has become. I had to put it in the dirt and it was raining, you know, everything got wet. So he has a car, which is interesting, 1984 on his car, <laughs> George Orwell, total control. Here. On his BMW, he got the red pill and the uh, and the blue pill. So the red pill, it looks like a brain, and the blue pill is a mask. A, what is it? The mask. A mask. Yeah. Okay. It's a mask. And uh, here too. So this is the car he drives around with in 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 Switzerland. The all-seeing eye in 1984. So he came with his tent and all. It looks pretty new. <laughs> and um, well, there he is. So hello together. I try to do this in oh, English. Do it, sure. Yeah, and I don't know. But first in English, uh, Sean Ross is a very nice guy. Um, I'm very fascinating uh, of his videos. Und auf Berndeutsch kann ich nur sagen, eben, ich bin auch sehr fasziniert von all seinen Videos. Es macht vielleicht nicht für jeden Menschen alles Sinn, aber ja, es ist mehr drin, als man denkt. Und was ich den Leuten einfach noch möchte mitgeben möchte, ist, Radio, Fernsehen und Zeitung sind die fremdbestimmte Meinung der meisten Menschen, die eben ihr eigenes Hirn noch nie selber benutzt haben, um auch die Scheuklappen aufzutauen und versuchen, ein bisschen Breitfächern zu schauen. Irgendwie so, ja. Und dein Kanal auf YouTube, wie hieß das schon? Rotex BMW Drift. Rotex, so his channel name in YouTube is Rotex BMW Drift. Because he, here it says Nürburgring. That's the famous like uh, circuit for, uh, for Formula One and all that. And he goes drifting with a car, you know, like... Uh, uh, the, like the wheels at the back, uh, they are like blocked, so it's uh, you can uh, give a lot of gas and uh, and and go like uh, through the corner like that's. Uh, but now he has a uh, here it says as well BMW. He has a a deep BMW M at home, and that was his passion before, and now he got a bit older and he he saw that how we're slowly turning into a dictatorship. So he found himself a new passion. And the new passion is like waking up everybody. Uh, wake up, Sean Ross, are you still in your tent? No, not that, that way, waking up people. And uh, so, I mean, I hate Switzerland for everything they've done. And um, the Swiss people, they are product, as I've explained to you. They are product by the Knights Templars and by the uh, by Pharaoh. So, but I make an exception, you know, for one or two like this guy here. Although most of them, they are, they are, you know, they're evil. They do evil things. They're bad, most of the Swiss. Because they have been all the good people over thousands of years. They have been murdered and taken out and they have been raised as, you know, being a Swiss, you know. And as I've explained to you, uh, the Swiss are no, not a people because a people comes in one language. It's a product made by a pharaoh in Switzerland in 1291 is the first New World's Order. So this is my ult ultimate revenge to have a Swissie like uh, Rotex here. 
um, repeat the things that I'm saying in my videos. And so this is the ultimate revenge. So I, I must be open. So now I have my people like inside the Swiss people, you know, the ones who are repeating um, all the things about the enemy within, who are in Swiss German, they are the Bernburger, uh, who speak French, you know, and uh, they, they, they are the, the pure descendants of the Knights Temple, Templars. So um, I keep my mind open and I give a chance for one or two good Swissies, and there really are not more, um, who are willing to change something. And uh, so, respect, bro, respect, respect. I give them respect. Thank you. Are there any Germans here? Are there any Germans? I take up my potato masher, eh? There you go, it's my potato masher. Boom! Oh no, let's keep it for the enemy within. So here it says... Uh, June 6, 1944, D-Day. Uh, 6 of June, 1944. Come on, get out of there. I know you're there, Pharaoh. I know Swissy. I know you're there. Get out of there. <laughs> Come on, Swissy. You're hiding here somewhere. Uh, like this company here. They do checking out your car, you know, for the, the car control. Why do you think they put the O and the C there? You know, like the VCK Piskes. Why do you think they do it? You know, they must have some connection somewhere or some knowledge about what they're doing. I mean, you don't do it like, just like that, don't you? Do you know? Well, it means this is a chain, a part of a chain. In the middle is the oval, like the oval office. And a chain, it means one for all. Or where we go one, we go all. You know, it's all the same. Or Uno pro omnibus, omnes pro uno, like on the ceiling of the Swiss Parliament, and which was um, created by the Knights Templars, which is their proverb, you know, one for all and all for one. You just don't do that, just, just like that, you know. They're all part of it, huh? and they're not going to tell you, are, you? are they not? No. Cups of machine pistols is getting more and more exaggerated. Look at that. Probably forbidden, you know, don't film me. What's going on, eh? Cups machine pistols. Okay, I'm waiting. When are you gonna shoot them? Come on. <laughs> hey, are you seeing all the your mate? What's going on, eh? There's the farmer. Look at that. Seven balls. Why like that? You know? Bloody exaggerated, isn't it? It's getting worse and worse. So I just got taken hitchhiking. Uh, so they, they, the people, they stopped here at the parking lot here, and I saw the obelisk. I said, I told them, ah, this is the obelisk here. So there must be the uh, the mayor's office next to it. They say, oh yeah, yeah, there it is. You know, there's the mayor's office, office. Because you know, it's Pharaoh. You know, these are pharaohs. You know, they're all pharaohs. That's why they put the obelisk here. So I know there's always something with the authorities like, you know, if there's an obelisk. The obelisk is the symbol of the pharaon pharaonic domination. And where do they dominate us? Well, this is where they dominate us, you know. 
Uh, hypocrites, I put a Ukrainian flag here. Well, European community, they're all lying to the Ukrainian people. They just want to crush their identity, import like 50% people from the, from the third world, and uh, have all the J war, the, um, the pink list killer laws coming up. You know, that's all what they want. You know? And for that, you know, children have to die. The pharaonic domination. This is what the pharaonic domination, this is what it looks like. Even here's a little pyramid in pink on it, you know? With the pink list killers. Well, fantastic, isn't it? I've got, a, I've got enough of your lads, you know, of your lot. So here's the... Um, uh, it's a living animal. Yeah. What's the name again? The um, oh, Cigogne in French. The Storch. Yeah, in German. Got the name. So the obelisk. These are the ones ruling us. Pharaoh, me, Omi Ross. So this guy here, he just took me hitchhiking. And what do I see? I see a square, which stands for the, uh, the square, like in the square and compass. And there's a circle, like sort of uh, with a view from the side, looking like an oval. But of course, it's a circle or two. And with a compass, you can make a circle. So it says uh, uh, square and compass. I mean, all the logos are Masonic. There you go. So here's another logo of a big enterprise. You see the circle with the compass. You can make the circle. And there are four lines for the concept of four, which stands for the square so we all know it says square and compass people it's everywhere really this is just a, a guy who went shopping and he was so nice to have me film this yeah, look two times a square 90 degrees for the concept of four but where's the compass i took a while to figure it out you know they're so smart look in the middle here it's 90 degrees, but here underneath it's like 60 degrees here. And here on top as well, which stands for the compass, you know, which is sort of almost like 60 degrees. And here probably there's another angle here as well. So it does say square and compass. Uh, this one I already showed you. That's the Vesica Piscas with the Oval Office in the middle. One for all and all for one. Where we go one, we go all. <clears throat> the enemy within. This one too is very interesting. Kuna und Nagel. You know, there's one quad of the circle missing. So that's the... Um, what is left is the concept of three and the concept of four, you know, all together. And it has the Ankh symbol of Pharaoh in the middle. And in the T there's a square in it, so it's a square and compass all over. Not even, not only in the circle, you know, where it's one quarter missing. It's everywhere, everywhere. Oh look, just a little pyramid passing by. Well, of course, yeah. And you Europeans, in your own lands, you're just their slave. And you believe all their lies. So you see here the logo. There's a square for the concept of four, for the square and compass, and there are three objects floating around it for the concept of three, which stands for the compass. And they are on a circle for the compass, so it's really like double, you know, doubled up. So here's me, it's everywhere, you know. So it's me hitchhiking here, nobody's taking me. You know? 